Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this file, and they did a really good job. It looks really pretty, but they need some help closing the gaps up here. And for one, I would take away that extra line there, but you can't do anything to it right now because it's all one group. So we're gonna have to go to group object and group and ungroup so we can move these nodes. And you can see that you can just take that line right there and just delete it if you wanted to. And then take that node and just anchor it right there on that edge. Now, if you want it symmetrical, and I wonder if we messed up, no, we didn't mess up the curve. I would maybe uh, make that curve a little different. And if it's perfectly symmetrical, let's, uh, let's group it back together for a second, Control G, and let's hit P, put it in the center of the page, which it is, which is good. Let's take a two point line, holding down the control button so it's perpendicular and he's actually set on his on yellow, but we need red so we can see it. And if we look closer, it's not exactly symmetrical. So we can fix that at the same time. And it would actually uh, maybe help him. Um, I don't know if he needs it that symmetrical, but so we need to ungroup it again. So we need to click on it, go to object, order, or group and ungroup. <clears throat> and we could take these lines and move them all around, but the easiest thing to do that I have found is just take the virtual segment delete key and delete that half and delete everything on that side of the line. And then we can actually, we'll leave our line for just a minute so we can uh, kind of play with it. A um, Couple of things we could do. And he actually mentioned that he couldn't find the nudge tool. And I'm gonna show him that hopefully. So maybe we need to ungroup it again. Maybe I didn't get it all ungrouped. So whenever your shape tool doesn't work, it's because it's grouped. So we can take that line out and we're gonna fix that node right there too, but we can delete that line. And we actually would, um, yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do about making this symmetrical, but we're gonna take this node right here and click it to there. It should click right on the node. <clears throat> we're actually going to change his idea and we're gonna take away that line and then we'll take a shape tool and we're gonna, let's move this up just a little bit to that other one. We're gonna see how that works. And then the good thing about this, you only have to do, you know, you don't have to do all four sides, you just have to do two sides. So we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna take the shape tool and we're gonna put that right on that edge and It just all depends on how you want it to look. I'm gonna say, let's take away this line, the virtual segment delete key will stop it from leaking. Let's see what we did on top. That's, that's exactly what we did on the top. Now we just need to do this middle part. And once again, and if you wanted these lines, um, see it's, it's broken into more parts or it's still grouped together. So we grouped together a couple of times in different scenarios. We could get rid of that line and get, get rid of that line, bring this node in, bring this node in, bring this node in, kind of get it like right on the edge it says, and then bring this node in. And I think we're good to go. Now we could at this time um, like join all these nodes. Let's look down here real quick. Let's look, we'll see what we did up top. Yeah, see, we got just a box up top and you could do it any way you wanted to. You know, uh, let's zoom in here and take this node and put it on that one. Now it's gonna change your design a little bit, but you could do whatever you wanted to. Now let's take away our line. Let's control G to group it together, control D to duplicate it and always set your duplicate distance on zero, zero. And that's your nudge distance. When you can't see it, it's because you have something selected. So you need to have nothing selected to make it move. 
we've got this group together, so we're going to control D and put a copy right on top. We're going to hold down the control button and do that right there. Now it should all be joined. Uh, and you could play around with that. You know, we could do it two other ways. Um, you know, that one actually goes to the edge of the, well, we left the, the, we left the cross there. And you could do that too. Let's back up here, taking that away. Let's, let's back up till we get our line back. See, there's that duplicate. There's our line. We could actually take these two nodes and they're really not perfect. They're a little bit off, so let's let's put that node like right on top of that node. And then hold down the shift key and select both those, and you can see that other node. And we're still not selected, but if we select them both, go up to Windows, Dockers, Join Curves, and with these two selected, we can join them and look at that. Now, I think up top we've got it going to the edge. So we could just take our shape tool now, holding down the control button so it, it doesn't move left or right. Now I've changed your design just a little bit, but you can, you know, whatever I'm doing will work. Now let's group it together again, holding down the control button and mirror. I didn't make a duplicate. Control D. See, I backed up enough to take away your my settings, so set this on zero, zero, and I would set that as default. I never have seen a reason to have that not. <clears throat> now, you could do a lot more. Um, we could possibly grab all of it and see it's probably just grabbing the outside, but we could try welding it, and that's going to weld all those nodes together, and so now it's all one piece and you should be good to go. This gentleman makes belt buckles. This thing is only two inches tall and two and three, a little bit more than three quarters deep. Uh, so he's gonna, I don't know how he does it or what he does, but he does beautiful work. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.